So we talked about your growth, right? From project one, project two, to what I've heard from project three, man. And you talk about how you dissect the beat now. And I'm pretty sure like when you first came in, you weren't dissecting the beat. You were just, you were rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like do a lot of rapping with what even no damn beat. So like what's different this time? Like what, how's your process changed? Um, just advancing, you know, you, um, you learn, it's like sports, basketball. You don't come in just dribbling between your legs and behind your backs. You know, you, you learn how to dribble first. And then you learn. Unless you TT. Uh, unless you TT, yeah. Shout out yeah, TT been, TT been five or time. It's ever since he touched the basketball. TT, yeah, he came out doing that Allen Iverson crossover. So, yeah, TT, yeah, shout out to chat, man. But, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's like, you know, I'm learning. I'm building. I'm building. I'm learning how to bridge gaps. I'm learning, you know, how to – um control my voice my my tones my pitches uh my animation in my voices so now i'm being able to focus on little things before you know i felt like i was just reading or, or i wouldn't just you know get it now and also too i understand emotions but the number one thing i can never really say why i was just reading because i wrote these songs so to write them you got to feel some type of emotion and these songs have some type of connection to me so i had no problem but just the growth man it's natural growth you just learn you know you, you you start crawling, then you start walking, and you start running, and that's just really how it's been. And it looked like it looked like you starting to come out them blocks running. Now I'll tell you something, man. I was talking to the woman the uh about two weeks ago about you know what this how I go viral on TikTok, right? I don't do TikTok, you know. I feel like I'm too old for TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but I was like, I want to start doing videos of the faces. And the emotions rappers have when they have a when they like say a fire ass line or they do some uh, do an ad lib, right? Yeah. Because what people don't see is like if you've ever been in the studio with people working, and I used to be at the house of Max and they was recording like the long 2010, 2009, way, way back in the day when they was like when Blake now first started rapping. Excuse me, Oppo, let me uh, call him by his his rap name. Okay. Um that's my guy. But like I used to like see it when you be like, ooh, well, like maybe hey, like all that stuff. It's like, you know what? I would have fun doing some shit like this because like when you're in the studio, like it's a whole nother vibe that if you've never done that, if you've never been around like people creating, I don't care how good or bad the artist is, like being there a part of that process, some of the dopest shit you can ever do as far as a creative person. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. It's very weird at first doing it. Um, it's always fun, you know, outside looking in. I feel like on anything, but doing it is weird. Is um, but after a while, you get it, you understand. And um, I wish I was, you know, a little bit more vibrant with my ad libs. But I think, you know, with my music, my ad libs, I, I know nah, how to. Sing. You don't, you don't, you don't need them. You like you, you, your ad libs take away from what you're saying. Yeah, bingo. And uh, but ad libs are, you know, in. I, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie and say I don't like Migos ad libs. I love them because I, I repeat them. You know, ice, you know, I listen, you know, so. But look, you 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 got one of the best ones going right now. I told you about had to uh, have a conversation earlier this week because yeah. what you got is so catchy. Look, 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 Don. Mm -hmm. I find myself walking around like saying, look, look, I'm like, hold on, that's Terrence. I ain't call it nigga, look, 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 Don. I know him. <laughs> For real, though, like, a lot of people, they'll call me, look, look, look. Like I had somebody walk up the other day and was like, look, 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 Don. I'm like, and you know what's crazy is, is uh, it's weird, ain't it? Yeah, it's weird because I I just remember like being in the studio and just being funny, like you know, just look, look, like I did it right before I rapped one time. I did it one time, and then he was like, and then I heard it. Then I did it like a couple more times, and it just stuck. After that, it just stuck. So now, bro, when people call me Big Baby to my face, I say, bro, you know my name. Do not call me that. Well, why not? You don't like Big Motherfucking Baby, man. It's just it's like it's just like the first couple times it's just weird because you so used to being called by your by your name like call, nigga call me AC yeah but like I remember the first time I did a podcast in a room with people mm -hmm. and like when I be doing before I started doing videos when I was like it's the B motherfucking B <laughs> like I'm doing all this like you know what I'm saying because like I can't say it that way if I ain't, if I ain't rocking and stuff like that. That's how rapping goes, though, because you've been in there, you've seen it. Um, you can't, it's hard to, you don't think Little John was screaming from the window to the wall, sitting down in a chair going, 
from the windows to the wall. He was up screaming, from the windows to the wall. That's how it is. You have to exaggerate if you want to make it sound good. Now, if you wanted to make it sound mellow yellow, it's going to sound mellow yellow. 